Hi and welcome to this recording. My name is Robert de Bock and I work for Adfinis. Today I'd like to show you something about the Ansible collections. Ansible collections are quite new. They've been introduced two years ago, but they're starting to get more and more important. Uh, Ansible used to come with batteries included, which means uh, if you would install Ansible, you'd get all the modules. Modules are small pieces of code that do something. So start a service, install a package, place a file, things like that. There are a couple of thousand modules and Ansible decided to split off the modules in two collections uh, to slim down the product Ansible itself. I think it's a wise choice. And that also means that we have to work with it and probably be able to develop some, uh, some collections. There's lots of documentation. There's a documentation about how to use collections. So if you don't uh, write your own collections, you could just read this and pick up on it. Most collections do have a brief introduction how you could install them. There's also some documentation available about developing collections. And today I'd like to focus a bit on developing collections. I maintain uh, roles, Ansible roles, which are published on Galaxy. And uh, it seems as if the roles are starting to get deprecated slowly. Not now, probably not next year, but in the longer run, I think roles will disappear and will, uh, yeah, will be replaced by collections, basically. So I think it's wise to have a look at what this means for us uh, and us as people that write a role and publish it to Galaxy. Let's have a look uh, what I built. This is a collection and I've called it Ansible Collection Roles. Could be that this roles part is maybe your name or so, who knows. Um, in this, uh, in a the collection, there's at least galaxy.yml, which is mandatory. That must be there, otherwise it will not work. And I think there's another file, I think it's the readme, that is mandatory. Those two are sufficient for a collection. Now that's a bit weird because that would be a collection with just two files which would not do anything. But if you want to play around, you could do that. Typically a collection contains plugins. Uh, in my case, I don't think I have any. No, we can also remove that. I just like to wrap my roles into a collection. So let's get rid of this file. Um, but typically you'll find the logic, Python probably, in the plugins directory. In this case, it's just roles. So let's have a look what that looks like. Um, first of all, to use this role, uh, you simply install a role, uh, sorry, a collection, a collection of roles in this case. And from then on in a playbook, you could call them. This is done with an import task. Could also be that you write your uh, roles section so like this, this. Book.roles.bootstrap. So, well, nearly no typos. Bootstrap. So, whichever is either uh, a task list or a role list, whichever you prefer. Uh, so, to use it, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. The only thing that changes is a full path to the collection name. I think on Ansible in the documentation, they call it the F. Q fully qualified collection name, FQCN. Well, whatever, it, uh, it works and it's pretty straightforward too, actually. Um, to develop these roles is a bit different. You do need that galaxy.yml, uh, which indicates what this is. So we've made a change and we've removed the plugin and I've just added a few spaces. So that is a new version. This version will be picked up on by Galaxy. So if you import the role, Galaxy will read this file and use this version number to publish a new version. Uh, it must be in a namespace, of course. You could name the readme.md differently. I highly recommend you keep it readme.md. For GitHub, it will show that page immediately and a description you could add. Now, and furthermore, there are dependencies. And to be honest, I did not see them working, so I'm not 100% sure that this piece works. But who knows, let's let's just figure out. Um, 
So you at least need that galaxy.yml and a readme. Uh, besides that, in this case, I want to distribute roles. So I've put all the roles I have in the roles directory. Uh, and there are some limitations to the name. It may only be alphanumeric characters or even just letters plus an underscore. I'm not sure if a digit is allowed here. Well, who knows? Uh, in a role like that, you'll find regular uh, the regular structure of a role. So nothing specifically different here. Let me try this. So these have just a couple. There's probably a bit that a few that are a bit more extensive. Now here's some handlers and some var. So you recognize uh, a role structure like this. Um, when that's done, it needs to be published to Galaxy. And you could do that manually from your laptop or desktop or so. Oh, that is a lot. Uh, of course, I really like CI in automation so i've put in uh, a collection action just used it thanks artisrin for this uh, for this action that really works well so what happens here is first the code is checked out on the runner so this exact same code and then i use an action that simply uses an api key you can find that on galaxy let's have a look in your preferences uh, show the API key, shows you the API key, which you then need to save in Galaxy, uh, in GitHub. Let's have a look. This repository is Ansible Collection Roles. And in the settings, you can save a couple of secret variables. Secrets. And here's the Galaxy API key. Uh, I can just update it, paste in the new value, or remove it. I cannot read it anymore. But I'm sure it's the, the right code. I just saw a uh, failed CI. So I'm curious what it is. Let's try this new one. Uh, what have we done? We've changed the Galaxy, update the version. We've removed that plugin directory that's not required at all. And that's about it. So it's a very, very small change, but it's a new version. If you use that action, or actually Galaxy, if it picks up on this file and it did not have a change in the version it will throw an error so each increment you need to update the version so that will be quite quick in this case because any change requires a version change uh, what did we actually clean up and stage and commit and push there we go so now a uh, github runner will wake up and will pick up on our change and start to build and publish it. The collection needs to be built first, which is it makes a tar GZ with a version number and publish later, which sends that tar GZ to Galaxy. And from then on, it's available on Galaxy. Uh, let's see, I had 1.2, if I'm correct. Let's have a look. Here is the roles collection. Yeah, 1.2 is still here. So uh, Galaxy does linting for us which is great, but it does take a while uh, because in this case, I've got a uh, hundred or so roles in there and uh, they will uh, Galaxy will all lint them. So that will just take a while. Let's have a look. So we've pushed that code and now the GitHub action is uh, built and deployed the collection. And that's all successful. Indeed, it took 15 minutes, so it's well worth not to wait for it. Uh, let's have a look. We tried to do 1.3, if I'm correct. Let's have a look. So I'm back on Galaxy. The roles has 1.3 a couple of minutes ago. That's perfect. Plus, you can see the imports, <coughs> if it succeeded or not. And here I'm struggling a bit. Don't know how it works yet. It seems like uh, Ansible Lint needs to download collections too, and it doesn't. I'll figure it out later. The publication works are now 1.0.3 is available. Yeah, that just about summarizes this, uh, this session. Uh, hope it's interesting for you. Hope it, uh, it can help you a bit in developing these uh, collections or maybe uh, transforming your roles into collections. 
I myself am not so sure about the, the correct structure yet so I've now put all the roles in a single collection that's for me quite convenient uh, but as a consumer of this collection you get all the roles so that may be a bit too much I think the intent is not to have a collection for one role I'm just not 100% sure yet so time will tell uh, at least I know how this works and you now know too and you could develop or transform your code into collections hope to see you next time goodbye